What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game called Main Assembly. It's coming out in the fourth quarter, so anywhere between October and December, fingers crossed everybody, that this will be out on early access for you and yours. Got my little drone character, he's cute, you can customize him, and they're going to add a couple more hats and, and sunglasses and tootsies and feats and all kinds of fun stuff uh, for you to character, uh, basically create your own character the way that you want to uh, you know, create it. So, what is Main Assembly? Build robots with revolutionary freeform crafting tools and control them through powerful visual programming to overcome solo challenges to play with your friends in multiplayer, featured... Uh, advanced physics like aerodynamic physics physics and robot destruction so we got impact destruction at the moment as well as jet and electrical damage will happen later on in its development so by all means check it out on the steam page link is in the description down below there's all sorts of things we can create so right now we're in sandbox mode because it's really the only thing that we can do we're gonna fly around here we're gonna fly around with a massive speed but let's get to the building dog let's get in this building mode so I've been working on a little something some, A little something something for everybody. And it kind of reminds me of things like Simple Planes and uh, Homebrew. And a little bit of Scrap Mechanic. But the Scrap Mechanic is kind of built on like a 45 degree angle. So you can't really do too much when it comes to making circles and all sorts of stuff. But the developer has a trailer out. And it shows a bunch of different things like worms. Flying, flying machines, beautiful, beautiful cycles and all sorts of things that you can make in the game. And also additional things are going to be coming around, such as blocks in the game that you can kind of maneuver around. You can make tanks, multiplayer battles, oh, but you do have to create everything, so check it out. So when it comes to like moving some of these chassis parts around, you can extend them, you can make them farther, you can go ahead. Let's go ahead and click on the chassis, and depending on where your camera is... You can extend up, down, and around. Let's see if I can move some of the stuff back here a little bit. Maybe even move this to a point. Oh, it's fancy. While hovering, a part of the handle clone's crafting now. Okay, good, good, good. Down here. Ooh, don't know what happened there. <laughs> but it's simple. Just sit there, click, and delete. I think we got a banging little frame right here. Now, the best part about this. As you can see, like, oh, are those separate parts? They are not. If you hit the Alt key, you can bring your chassis a little bit of a curve. Oh. See if we can bend it down here. Oh, that is fancy. Probably not good for the structure of the frame. Probably going to break some stuff, but you know what? It's for you to uh, test that. See if we can extend some of this stuff here. Let's control it down, and then we can maybe make something like that. Awesome sauce. And over here, it automatically changes if you change something on this side to make it perfectly symmetrical for you. I have added a point to try and make a kind of little bit of a spoiler, but there's other different parts that you can add. So let's check it out. Some motors. Most of the motors we got jet engines, small motors, motor medium, motor large, large simple motor. But then we also have drive motors. So good. Wheels. For now, only three types of wheels in three specific large and small and medium categories. On top of that, we got chassis, aluminum, carbon fiber, steel, make them all heavy. Oh, you can make it light, you can make it heavy. Attachments, friction pads, hinges, pistons, and I believe I am near like a waterfall or something. <laughs> Some sort of waterfall situation. Let's get away from that. And we'll hop back in here. That hissing noise is bothering me. Mechanical. So we got different things, like I said, servos, friction pads, hinges, pistons, and the uh, some of the things on Twitter that the developer Bad Yoke Games is coming out with. I uh, saw a spider, and of course the worm or snake, super snake. Sensors, speedometers, gyroscopes for helicopters and uh, especially like planes to help you maneuver around. So if you happen to lose your flight path the gyroscope will automatically correct you if you have everything programmed correctly. Proximity sensors, CPUs, docking stations, AKA seats. Got a couple little lights here. We got an LED bar. Let's check now. Ooh. Bang. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get a, get a couple headlights in here. Uh, electronics, lights, camera action. Sorry, Miss Jackson. 
Um, wondering if I could put this someplace inside here. And here we go with the rotation. So good. Boom. Perfect symmetrical in every way. Let's get some tires on here. Also, just check out the uh, miscellaneous. Uh, that's all in electronics. Miscellaneous. We've got tools. Everything's like bumpers, magnets, forklifts. Another forklift. Plows. Different kinds of cockpits. One is uh, for a tank. Hello, delete part. I'm aware. Thank you very much. Cockpits. Different kinds of cockpits. Cockpit exceptional. And right now the weapons that they have here are hammerheads and lawn blades so you can make some battle bots if you so need it. Um, the, right now the challenge mode, most of these kinds of games have some sort of challenge mode where you have to complete an objective in order for you to finish. So you basically kind of like besiege or you know, like rover builder. You're going to have some different objectives to you got to build something to get to the end of something. So tab, let's tell you what, let's get the large motels. Oh yeah. And this kind of looks like a little bit of a buggy French. Let's get our, get ourselves some, let's get a large wheel. Got a racing large, standard, off-road. Got off-road all day. Ba-boom. <laughs> hey, Nath. Now as far as the medium wheels, get some medium wheels. And boom. I have a feeling that that's going to be elevated perfectly. Perfectly. Now, here is where a lot of the trouble, not even trouble, but where the real creativity is going to come in. And also, this is going to be an excellent application to show for you know high school kids, grade school kids on learning how to code. Hashtag learn to code. Hashtag please don't ban me on Twitter. Uh, hashtag I'm just messing around. You're going to have to start programming. So go ahead and click the seat, hit P, and it brings you into this array that we have here. <laughs> it's like, what is going on? What is happening? What is happening here? All right, so let me just delete some of the stuff to kind of give you an idea of what you'll have to do as far as input. So say right now we hit uh, enter and we're in here, but we can't go forward or backward, left or right, because we have to input that into the electronics. My head is hitting the rails. It's probably the bad thing. It's probably a real bad thing. So uh, back into the build mode, we'll click on P, and let's get some inputs in here, dog. Pop that in there. Forward. S back. And then math and a minute, minute, math and a minute, minute, math and a minute, minute. Um, <coughs> so let's make this all wheel drive. So we got power. And then we're going to have to go down to the large tires and get some power going on in there. Also, what we're going to have to do for math, not math, input, we need some steering. And we're going to need steering for our homies and steering for our other guy here. So that should be good right there when it comes to that input. But since we're going to be all-wheel drive, we need to have the back tires go opposite as opposed to going forward or, go, or basically going with the steering. So right now, to go on this, D, A, or left and right, or right and left, however you want to look at it. And all we had to do for the power, just to provide power to both of the tires, and then escape out of this. Now, we can go forward and backward. We just can't steer. Got it? Good. Let's go ahead and hop back in. Now, when it comes to the steering, front tires are going to go the way that we want them to. Left, right. The way we meant them to be but we need to reverse everything for the back tires in order for it to turn properly so we got to get the negate which outputs a positive value given a negative input and a negative output given a positive input so boom it's all about positive and negative two negatives make a positive it's beautiful let's get rid of this now here's the thing that i'm dumb to when it comes to inputs these just turn on things and don't turn and once you let go of the key that's a wrap it turns off so let's get out of this and i'll show you all right so we're in and now our tires they turn and to turn on the lights as you can see oh apparently my headlights are pointing towards me 
Some silly goose. Alright, so technically those should work now. And if we hop into the programming here, I have R and T as the blue light. Thinking of like R, hit R, it will turn it on, and T would turn it off. Was not meant to be. Uh, what if I don't, what if I just get rid of this here quick? I'm just going to delete this. And input, boom, go to that, click on this, and we'll do R. Alright. Nope, still, it still, it still doesn't give me any pleasure. Any anything, anything popping? Nah, 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 son. Oh, there it is, the Y. Hey, hey, hey! It's still blinking at me. Like, need to project it on there. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's just lights. It's just simple lights. But <laughs> we rocking, we are rolling, baby. Woo! Now it's a problem when we turn. We got we got problems. Probably use it to look like something with a counterweight. We're definitely gonna need something with like a counterweight system. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some sort of counterweight system. Maybe use a heavier frame to kind of keep that center of gravity rocking and rolling. This is all for demonstration purposes. Now, something else. Let's go ahead and put a different. Let's get a jet engine on here, baby. Oh, oh. Let the bam will be on crap. Let's turn it around, because that'll be a problem. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Alright, let's program that John in here. So input here, part invalid, what's this? What's this for? What are we doing? Hmm. Shall delete you. Alright, so for this, we'll use this as G, -g, -g, G unit and jet engine, jet power, simple, easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. And for you, R. Let's do a T and R. Technically, this should work. Ah, technically, it does work. You can see the top of my dome piece, but it's just not. Oh, yeah, it is. It's got a little bit of. A... Got a little bit of light pushing in front of us. It does. But since I'm done when it comes to switches, if you let it go, it turns off. I just wanted to, to click the T and then have it have it work for us. It's not working. Now, when it comes to these kind of sandbox layers, they're adding different kinds of uh, scenarios, racetracks, train tracks, all sorts of fun stuff for everybody to enjoy. There will be a Steam Workshop for you to upload your creations to the server there will also be a backlog in case they need to put on different platforms maybe they might be selling it on the epic game store as well so that way everybody will have a place to go to download some creations and have some fun let's, talk, let's check out the jet engines oh one more thing let's go ahead hop into the p when it comes to power you can make sure that the power eh, since we're kind of flipping over let's do 45 do 45 of the power and as far as our jet engine, jet engine is just going to give you whatever, baby. It's going to give you whatever. And as a matter of fact, I'm feeling a little saucy. Let's go ahead and we'll get some more jet engines in here. I'll put, one, I'll put another one on the back. We're going to be like stupid fast, bro. Now, there is impact damage, so if you roll everything, it's going to be a bad time. But they're going to be adding environmental damage or mechanical damage. Eh, it's not scented. It's not scented. Which must delete you. So when you're, say that you put a jet engine inside of your creation, it will eventually burn your whip or whatever it is that you are making. A little force behind it. I think that'll work. Now as far as P, let's go ahead, jet engine, motors. Got two of them, so that's a beta. Banging that out. All right. Let's give it a test, bro. <laughs> this thing is dope. It's pretty fly. Hold on. Do it for the thumbnail. I ain't gonna do it. I said do it for the thumbnail. I ain't gonna do it. Let's get get a rock and rolling. Just a nice, easy pace. And then, oh, yeah! I can't even keep it on screen. It's going so fast. It's going too fast. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wee, wow, wow, whoa. I just want to turn. Stop. Woo. <laughs> we got problems. Mayday, mayday. Blown tires. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. No, it won't settle down. Because we're just going way too fast. It's beautiful, though. It's beautiful, baby. Oh, yeah. I think it's pretty fantastic. But, folks, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more when this comes out, or if you want to see a couple more creations and see what possibly could be, uh, or if you have any uh, tips, hints, and tricks when it comes to programming, this is going to be an excellent tool for you to build, and it's only going to get more expansive. It's not so, uh, going to I don't think it's going to have any kind of survival mode or anything like that. It's strictly for building, creativity, and programming training pur purposes. It's not binary or anything like that. It's... It's a lot easier to code. I'm just dumb. I, I, I forget how to do stuff because I'm old and dumb. And I, I just got to relearn everything. I just got to do it. Fantastic. <laughs> but like I said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hope you my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead and hit subscribe. Whoa. Whoa. And new videos are coming out every single week. Love this. But everyone, peace out like shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Main Assembly. Next time, three, two, one. Engage number one. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah, baby! Yeah!